Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul of stuff, whether that be from yard sales or auctions. So I'm going to be doing about 25 things in this video and then I'll probably have a couple more uh, in the next video. And I also plan on doing a Bolo 411 video for this week. It's been a long time, I feel like, since I've done one. and. There was something that like I was seeing while I was out yard selling and I'm like, you know what? I don't know much about this category, so I'm going to look stuff up and we're going to make a bolo video out of it. So stay tuned for that one as well. So let's just get started in with some of the stuff that I have to share with you guys. So the first thing I have is this beautiful green Empoli glass uh, like compote apothecary jar dish whatever you want to call it it has this really fun like circus tent style top and then this like twisty pedestal bottom this is absolutely gorgeous um very beautifully well made um i found actually two pieces of really pretty glass at this particular yard sale that i went to so this one here was five dollars and i listed it on auction with a starting price of $49.99. There was also like a large vase that I got at the same sale I picked that one up. I haven't gotten that one listed yet, but you will see it in a haul video. I found a set of two clear fairy lamps. These are the Diamond Point um, Indiana Glass. Uh, fairy lamps this was for a set of two i paid two dollars for these so a dollar a piece and these here i have as a buy it now for thirty dollars for the set so really cute um typically here lately i've been seeing a lot of clear glass fairy lamps and i haven't been picking them up um mainly the real thick round ones i still have some listed so when i see something when i'm out and about and it's still sitting and hasn't sold i'm hesitant to pick another one up um, but i didn't have any more of these indiana glass ones so i decided to grab those this next item did come from an auction this is so beautiful this is by west virginia glass and it still does have its little um, sticker tag on the pitcher. So this is the pitcher. It's got hand painted strawberries on it and just kind of like a frosted glass look to it. So cute. I can just imagine this being filled with like uh, juice or iced tea or something like that. So it came with the pitcher and then it also came with six of these little matching um, juice glasses. So I won these at an auction for $7 and I listed them on auction with a starting price of $69.99. I'll actually post up a picture of them all like um, spread out so you can just see the set a little bit better. At this at a yarn sale, I had found one of these before. It was orange, but it didn't have a cork. And it actually did go to a subscriber of mine. So I found another one and I liked the color of this and the fact that it still did have its cork. And there are cats on the cork as well. So it's a white um, wine bottle. This would have originally had wine in it. Um, I'm not like a alcohol drinkers so I have no idea what's in alcohol stores um, and I say that because around here there's not we have like state stores that you have to actually buy your alcohol um, at like a liquor store but here lately there have been some places like grocery stores and stuff that are starting to carry it but you definitely you know can't just like go into Walmart around here and buy alcohol so anyway I just was really interested in this collared one. I thought it was super cute. It has that like white milk glass kind of look to it. So I think I paid a dollar for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $16.99. Um, at an auction, I won a tray of just random stuff. There was some like older toys and stuff mixed in. I honestly haven't even gone through it yet. There was like one thing in there that I like really wanted. And so I told Eric, I was like, if you can win this tray for a dollar, just get it for me. So he paid $1 for the tray. And this is what I wanted out of it. <laughs> this is a vintage Chuck E. Cheese 
it's like a little wrist pouch so you can put this on your wrist to hold like your tokens or your change or whatever you know how when you're a kid you're playing on your games uh, this was from 1991 I don't know if my camera is picking it up but it's like a pretty hot pink color so I wanted this <laughs> for the dollar um, some vintage Chuck E. Cheese items can sell decently depending on what you have I didn't see any of these listed so I listed it on auction with a starting price of $12.99 and literally as soon as I listed it it got a bid and I think it has quite a few watchers so there are people out there who collect the older Chuck E. Cheese items so definitely keep an eye out for those I rarely come across that kind of stuff um, Eric got two Harley Davidson mugs. He paid $2 a piece for these and they're still in the box. So this one here, this one's my favorite. I think this one's really cool. It's got this like raised um, 3D type of look to it with these signs all around it. So got that one for $2 and listed this one on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I don't think any of those were currently listed that looked like that. And then he also got this one, which we also paid $2 for. And this one here looks like this. It says 100 years of great motorcycles on it. So they're like, like new. I mean, they still have their stickers and stuff on the bottom. And then this one here we have listed as a buy it now for $35.99. So really nice mugs. I know one year for Christmas Eric and I purchased some Harley mugs for his dad and stepmom and I did buy them on eBay. So <laughs> there are people out there looking for Harley mugs on eBay. And this next this next thing came from um, a yard sale. This is a vintage Sony uh, sports cassette player so it just looks like this it's got like a really nice strap on the back I like that so you can just kind of like hold it like that it feels really good and then these are just some max L headphones to go with it so we paid eight dollars for the Walkman and we listed it on auction with a starting price of $39.99 and it does have a bid so there are people out there still looking even if they're not sealed um, people are still looking for vintage um, cassette players I mean the Stranger Things ones like the one that was on Stranger Things um, goodness gracious if you ever come across one of those I mean right now is the best time to sell them I don't know if they will you know drop in price after a while but those are selling for a lot of money um okay so next thing that I have was this set of anchor hawking glasses I got these at a yard sale I paid what did I pay for you I paid two dollars for a set of six of these anchor hawking butterfly drinking glasses they have like a smoky gray kind of look to them I'm gonna pop up a picture of all six so you can see a little better. So I paid $2 for the whole set of those and I listed those as a buy it now for $32.99. And then I also got these shorter ones. These are more like little juice glasses. So I paid $2 for a set of six of these as well. And those I have listed for the same price, a buy it now of $32.99. I won this little guy at an auction. This is kind of like a drip glaze bowl, but he is redware. You can kind of see along the bottom of his feet. This says, this is obviously vintage. You can tell by the sticker. It says made in Remore, Ontario. Then it has a number. Um, handcrafted by M. Cotu and Sons is what it's marked. I thought it was really cute and interesting and like I said it was older and redware so I decided to get it. Um, we did pay five dollars for this and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I couldn't find anything by this brand so you know it was kind of on a whim type of purchase but I thought it was cute so we'll see. I also at the auction won this adorable bank oh my gosh this is so cute so it's got a kitty cat on the top and he's pulling a mouse these are ceramic 
um, by the tail and he's sitting on this like circus looking drum i thought it was so cute there's also a little mouse on the inside he did come unglued um so he'll have to be glued back on and there's even a penny still in there but anyway this is from 1960 and it's by a company called lego and there is some issue there's some like this part is made of like a plastic material and you can see there's like a crack there and a crack on this side as well when i looked this up i only saw one listed um for higher than what i priced mine at but theirs is in better condition so i paid three dollars for this and i listed it on auction with a starting price of 29 dollars 99 it does have a bid and it does have quite a few watchers so if anyone's like looking specifically for this one you know they can get a little bit better of a deal but obviously like it does does need some repairs done so got that i got this little plastic like pvc vinyl this is a bloomingdale's bag the little brown bag um so just like a little tote bag you can throw some stuff in i found this at a yard sale in a box and i didn't have a price on it and i asked the lady what she wanted for it and she told me i could just have it so i didn't pay anything for it so i didn't pay anything for this and i listed it as a buy it now for 24 dollars 99 and that's what they were pr pretty much consistently selling for this next item i'm gonna have to put up a picture because it's really big this is actually a vintage strawberry shortcake like roller toy chest cart so just like something you could like throw your stuffed animals and toys in back in the day i didn't actually have this one but really cool won this at an auction for seven dollars so a lot of the times with these bigger items people don't really want to ship them and stuff like that but the great thing about this toy chest is that it comes apart it unscrews down into the four slats and the two you know handled sides so you can make it smaller to ship it obviously it's going to have to be reassembled when it gets to the buyer but that like drastically brings down the cost of shipping because you'll be able to ship it in a smaller package so i paid seven dollars for that and i have it listed as a buy it now for 299 dollars and 99 cents last one sold for 300 and that's about what they're selling for and i think mine is currently the only one available so we'll see i got these kate spade push pin tacks of these little gold tone owls i thought these were so cute they are brand new never used i don't have a push pin board but if i did i'd probably keep it because these are so adorable um, i got these at a yard sale for 50 cents and i have them listed as a buy it now for 17 dollars 99 back to school is coming you know kids are going to be going off to college and stuff like that so now is probably the time to um get the back to school stuff listed i also got this beautiful blue ellie smith moon and stars compote dish this is absolutely gorgeous i rarely come across the blue collar so when i saw this i kind of squealed a little bit because it's absolutely gorgeous i paid five dollars for this and i have it listed as a buy it now for 59 dollars 99 if you ever come across there's a size larger than this one and that one's worth the most money and i've only ever seen one once at an auction so i definitely think they're a little more rare i listed this um chanel coco mademoiselle mademoiselle um perfume so this is new without the box and this came on a tray of beauty stuff i won at an auction um, i did put this up on auction with a starting price of 59 dollars 99 i didn't see any listed in this size this is a 1.2 fluid ounce the only things i was seeing in this size were like a hair fragrance mist so that's why i went with auction on that one so you saw me pick up this beautiful empoli vase this thing is gorgeous and so heavy oh my gosh beautiful it's got this red into like an ambery orange color into yellow Ugh, on this pedestal this is absolutely beautiful beautiful i paid just three dollars for this 
oh my gosh like it just amazes me when like I come upon yard sales with pieces like this and the stuff is still there like why has no one purchased this yet like it just blows my mind like I can't believe it so three dollars for this at a yard sale and I listed this baby for a buy it now of ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents so we'll see if we get that for it or not I didn't see any currently listed that looked exactly like this one in these colors. Got this really cute little ceramic elephant planter, just this little tiny guy, and he's got some bamboo around there. I don't know, I thought it was cute. It was unmarked. I think I paid probably 50 cents for this, and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I didn't see any currently listed. I also got this really pretty glass trinket dish. It's blue with this like kind of like opalescent look to it. And I'm not quite sure who made this. I really have no idea. So and I'm pretty sure it's just like a little maybe trinket dish or so. I paid I think I paid maybe 50 cents to a dollar for it. And I put this up on auction with a starting price of $12.99. I got a pair of these black hunter boots. I come across these every so often. I feel like they're not as desirable as they once were, um, but it also, I think, depends on the print and stuff because I found the like a shorter pair with cherry blossom print and they're worth a lot more than these tall black ones these are like pretty much the ogs like everyone wanted just the plain black um tall hunter boots so usually when i find them they're either not in very good condition or even at yard sales they're priced too high to really make a good profit um, to resell especially since they're so big and kind of heavy but these were in really nice condition and they were at a good price i paid I think I paid five dollars for these and they are a women's size eight so not my size so I'm selling them um, I listed these as a buy it now for forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents I got these really cute ceramic duck um, wall hangings little wall plaques so this one here is named waddle he's got his name written on the end and this one's quacky waddle and quacky and then they have little um, pieces here on the back so you can hang them on the wall. This one does have like a tiny little chip underneath of his hat. Um, but otherwise, they're really cute condition. So perfect for like farmhouse type of decor. When I purchased these, the lady at the yard sale said her mom made them. So, and they do have a signature on the side here. So... I mean, maybe she did. Maybe she, like, painted them or something. I'm not sure, but I thought they were really cute. And she only charged me a dollar for them. So I put these up on auction with a starting price of $25.99. I also got this. This thing is so cool, guys. Oh, my gosh. I was, like, flipping out over this thing. So I got this piece here. It was marked Freddy on this sticker. O-R-O, -O, 24 karat. So, and then... Let me try and show you the bottom here. There's also this piece of paper that was taped on there. So I'm pretty sure it's Italian made. Um, so this part comes out, right? So it's on this stand here, like stainless steel stand with this funky green, just really unique looking. And then there's a clear bowl with the lid. And then it comes with this tiny little scoop. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I'm assuming this is like a sugar bowl or like to put condiments in or something like that. Um, maybe even olives. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, you could use it for pretty well anything that you'd want to. But I just couldn't say no to it because I thought it was really unique looking. So this here I paid $1.50 for. And I listed it on auction with a starting price of $29.99. Okay, this next item was kind of like a, oh, duh, Michelle type of moment. So I got this Barbie Groom and Glam play set. I think it's from, yeah, it's from 2008. So I just saw like 
the Barbie horse and like the figure and stuff like there. Well here, it's missing the Barbie. There's, there's no Barbie in there. I mean, it has been open, but I completely didn't even notice that when I purchased it. Anyway, I paid $3 for this playset and I listed it as a buy it now for $29.99. So it's a shame the Barbie is not there, but it still has the horse and a bunch of little accessories and stuff like that. I also got this little Boyd's Bear um, plushie and he's dressed up as a little gingerbread man. I thought he was really cute. I won him on a tray of stuff at the auction. I paid $7 for the tray. And there's some other like gingerbread related stuff on the tray. I still have to go through it and see if anything is really worth my time to list. Um, so I haven't done that yet. I only listed him. And I listed him as a buy it now for $15.99. I thought he was worth a little more than what I was figuring. So it probably wasn't the best buy for the tray. Because like I said, I don't know um, if there's anything really all that fantastic on the tray other than that or not. So that's something I'll have to just find out. The last thing I'm going to share with you, I'm just going to pop up a picture because it's so incredibly heavy. It's cast iron. Um, Eric found this really beautiful um, enameled cast iron um, Dutch oven at a yard sale. It's by a company called Staub Law Coquette, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. We paid $5 for this thing, which is just in insane. Um is very expensive obviously most cast iron can be pretty pricey um but typically when you think of these like enamel cast irons and stuff you think of like crusade and stuff like that and yes those pieces can definitely sell for good money but there are other brands like this one i had never heard of that also sell really well um so we listed this one on auction with a starting price of a hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety nine cents so that was a fantastic score absolutely beautiful too so that's pretty much everything for um this haul i'm gonna share with you uh just two things that i purchased for myself at the yard sales so the first thing i got were these stacks of books if you guys remember these these are the scary stories to tell in the dark so this is for the set of three. This one was more scary stories to tell in the dark. And then this one was um, scary stories, more tales to chill your bones. So this was number three. I've never actually read these two. I've only ever had this one growing up. And they were so creepy. And the images in them were so creepy for like, like a kid's horror themed book. Like just... I don't know, just so very creepy. So, but I really liked them growing up and I found them, I think I paid a quarter a piece for those. So I might read them and then sell them, but I got them for like nostalgia's sake. And then I got two tops. Um, I still have to try these on. This is just a little like white tank top by Simply Vera, Vera Wang. I paid, I think 50 cents for that. And then I also got this one. This one's by a brand called AGB, and it's just like a floral, long-sleeved top, and I probably paid about a dollar for that one, maybe two. Um, and then, oh, I forgot, I also got this bracelet here at a yard sale. It's just a little stretchy beaded bracelet with this white uh, butterfly charm oh uh, it was so sweet um i like buying stuff from kids at yard sales because like obviously they're trying to like make money themselves so i saw like a bunch of these bracelets and i asked like it was two little boys um at the table and i asked him i was like oh did you make this bracelet these bracelets and he's like no and he pointed i guess to their sister and she said that she did so i purchased one and i was drawn to this one because it reminded me of my mom with like just the white butterfly and the day that I purchased this, <clears throat> and this is a little bit of a rambly story, um, but it just, I was in such a good mood. Like, I, I've i dreamt about my mom, like, quite a few times since she's passed away. And I've dreamt about my dad a couple of times. Not as many times as, you know, I felt like my mom visited me in my dreams. But the, the night before I purchased this, um, I... 
I heard my dad's voice in my dream, basically. And when I dream, I lucid dream a lot. Like, I know that I'm dreaming type of thing. So when I heard his voice, like, I knew in my head, like, how is this possible? Because I know, you know, he's not alive. Um, but he just said, hi, Shell. Like, that's all he said. He just said hi to me. And when I wake up from those dreams where, like, I've heard my parents or I've seen them in my dream, to me, and it's so weird, but it feels like I was just with them. Like, I can't get over the, the, the feeling that I get when I have those types of dreams. Like, when I wake up, it was like I was just with them. Um, so when I woke up from that dream, I felt like I had just been with my dad. Even though I didn't see him physically or anything like that, I just heard his voice. That's it. So that day, I found a penny, which... You know, if you guys watch all my videos, you've heard my stories where, like, after my mom passed away, I would find pennies, like, literally all the time. I actually got, like, an owl, one of her owl piggy banks, and I started filling it with, like, all of the pennies I was finding since she passed, and it's pretty full. So, you know, after my dad passed, I didn't really find as many pennies anymore and I just kind of contribute to the fact to like you know they're together now so they're you know having fun together and you know my mom isn't really feeling the need to to visit as often type of thing because she knows I know that they're together so I found a penny that day and I was like oh my gosh this is amazing so and then I found this bracelet and as soon as I saw it it like reminded me of my mom and I used to see a lot of white butterflies around and stuff like that after she passed so that was another reason it reminded me of her and I always hear that like if something reminds you of someone that then it's a sign like if that's your first thought when you see something and it definitely like reminded me of her so I was like I have to get that um so I got that, and I've been wearing it, like, every day now, so I just thought it was cute, and I think I paid 50 cents for it. Um, but that is everything for this video. I apologize for the little bit of rambling, but, you know, it just, it's one of those things I kind of like having written down, you know what I mean? So, like, I can look back on this video and listen to my story again um, if I, like, forget about it like 10 years from now or so so uh but yeah you guys have to let me know if like you know you've had those types of situations where like you've dreamt of someone in your life who's passed away and then when you wake up you feel like you were just with them like if that's like a a common theme type of thing like I definitely feel like dreams and sleeping are like the closest thing we get to like the spirit world basically so I don't know but it just it I was in such a good mood that day after after that dream so yeah anyway that's my video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought down in the comments and stay tuned for another haul